This video will show you how to install an altitude kit for operating your Westinghouse WGen 9500 and 9500 dual fuel, as well as WGen 7500 and 7500 dual fuel generators at altitudes over 2000 feet. Confirm the altitude you'll be operating the generator and select the right carburetor jet for your application. To perform this installation, you'll need a 1 8 inch by 3 inch flathead screwdriver, a stubby Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a 17 millimeter open end wrench, a 10 millimeter open end wrench, a socket wrench, a six inch extension, an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter socket. Place the generator on a flat surface in a well ventilated area and make sure any attached propane tank is closed and disconnected from the generator. First step is to siphon the gas out of the fuel tank. Next, turn the fuel switch to either off or propane on the dual fuel model. Flip the power switch to the off position. Disconnect the battery. Turn the fuel valve to the off position and remove the spark plug boot from the spark plug. Start the teardown. Remove the two bolts that hold the carb canister and move the canister aside. On the back of the air filter box, remove the rubber hose at the top of the air box and using pliers, Remove the second rubber hose. Unclip the cover to the air filter box and remove the foam filter. Inside the air filter box, remove the six nuts around the edge of the plastic filter holder and remove the filter holder. Remove the two nuts that attach the air filter box to the carburetor studs. And finally, remove the bolt on the back of the air filter box. The air filter box is attached to the fuel line with a rubber grommet. Be sure not to damage the fuel line as you slide the air filter box off the carburetor studs and set it aside. Moving to the carburetor, start by placing a fuel safe container under the drain plug attached to the carburetor float bowl. Remove the bolt and allow the fuel to drain. When empty, reattach the float bowl drain plug. If you have one of the dual fuel model generators, you'll need to remove the two screws holding the solenoid to the bottom of the carburetor and set the solenoid aside. Remove the bolt from the bottom of the carburetor float bowl. There may be some leftover fuel in the carburetor, so have a rag handy to clean any spills. Use the flathead screwdriver to carefully remove the jet. Make sure to replace the main nozzle in the correct orientation and install the new jet into the carburetor. As mentioned earlier, make sure you install the correct jet for your model of generator and for the altitude. After you install the new jet, don't throw away the old one. If you own a dual fuel generator, remove the propane line from the top of the propane regulator. Remove the fuel jet from the top of the regulator and replace it with an appropriate regulator for the altitude. To reassemble the generator, replace all of the parts in the reverse order that they were removed. Time to check the installation. Move the generator to a well ventilated location, start the generator, and make sure it's running properly. If you have any troubles installing the high altitude kit, Contact our service team at 1-855-944-3571 or contact us through the website listed below.